Rồi Ở chỉ bắn cho Well good day guys Welcome back to the channel Today we're gonna repot An Australian native And as the title suggests Australian natives are that strong That it literally exploded the pot And just kept on growing even without the pot around it for the last two months, it's literally been on the bench as a bare root ball and it still just kept on powering on. So, Australian natives, extremely tough. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to repot it. It's an extremely ugly pot that it was in, so I'm not mad about the pot, but the only issue is. It broke the pot and I've got really nothing else to put into. So here's the old pot. And it just completely exploded that. And it's just been chilling out on the bench, looking like it is now for the last couple of months. So the only pot I got close is this poor old mulberry that died. Sad, sad day. We'll get rid of this other one. Bang. Bang on the ground. Right. It looks like it was tied in. So let's get some wire cutters and snip it out the pot. The only other pot that I've had that I could have put this um, Malaluca in here, Australian Malaluca was a forest planting pot which was super shallow, would have worked okay but it would have had to build the sides up pretty well and I don't have enough good moss at the moment to be able to put the moss over the top to stop the soil from washing away because at, in the middle of summer here we don't have regular supply of moss which means, um, yeah, we can't moss up bits of soil that we don't want to wash away. Generally, you have to moss, you have to moss it up in the conditions when they're wet. Okay, and then generally in the dry conditions, the moss just sort of holds onto the surface, a bit like this, even though that's a little wart, but. A bit like that, it sort of holds on to the soil and keeps it the soil contained. But we don't have that option because we've got no moss. So here's a poor old mulberry, 50 year old Ella. Okay, super sad that thing's gone. I may keep that thing and just, I don't know whether I cover it in some varnish or something and just have it as a feature in a house in the house or in the shed, I don't know. But I might keep them over. Right. So we're gonna get this string here. Is it gonna fit? Well no. Okay, it's not gonna be far off. This is another reason why I'm a bit worried about repotting it now because I don't like to repot things midsummer. But the fact is that it's busted out its pot and it doesn't even have have a pot at the moment, so something needs to be done. So let's just chop some edges off. And front and back as well a little bit. crappy little wart. Okay, and then we're going to chop down the top as well. Right, and slice down the side, and a little 
little slice off the bottom. into that root ball just a little bit. I'm just going to tease it just a bit, not much. Get rid of some of this liverwort off the top. This tree started life in my backyard at my old house, so I guess it's sentimental, you know. It comes from the old house. Grew it in the ground. And it is definitely sentimental because the only Manaluka I've ever had success digging out the ground and having it survive. So I put it in, this one here got put into some gravel with water and got literally soaked in the water and gravel for a year, completely submerged. Okay, and it reshot, regrew in that and then it was put into this other pot a couple of years ago and now it's outgrown that and smashed it right that's about all i'm going to do you can see i've just aggravated the roots a little bit and now it should fit into this pot fine yep so she fits in there now so let's mix up some mix. I'll probably use the good old kitty litter. Okay, kitty litter. Got about half, half kitty litter and well, one third kitty litter and two thirds potty mix. This is a Woolies brand 15 litre kitty litter. And then just some Osmoco Plus. Okay. Chuck that in. And then the idea will be just to mix it up. Now, it would have been nice to do it in the cement mixer, but it's not going to happen. Right, guys, all right, I'll mix this up and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Good day, guys. Well, we've now got the pot. We've got the tree cut down enough to fit in the pot. Ideally, if I had a pot bigger, I would have done that and I wouldn't have cut any roots off. So don't get me wrong here or misunderstand me. I would not normally cut back too many roots in midsummer here. Because midsummer is harsh and you want to let trees and things be alone during midsummer. I don't care what people's opinion and what they say is. 
when it differs to my opinion because I'm going to tell you right now that Australian natives repotted in the middle of summer don't do that great. My personal opinion is every time I've tried to repot one in the middle of summer it hasn't been a good thing. It's either I don't think any of them have died, but they've certainly been slow to respond. The best responding ones have been in spring when you replant everything else. So anyway, that's my opinion. But anyway, let's fill up this pot with this kitty litter or zealite mixed with potty mix. And I'm going to pile it up pretty well. Somewhere in the back here. Get some in the back. I'm really stabbing it in with my fingers as well to really pack this pot. Like I said, the pot is probably a bit too small for it. I would have liked to have gone a size bigger on the pot. Not so much for now, but for future growing, it'd be nice if it was in a bigger pot. So. This one here may even get repotted again in another six months, but it'll be slip potted. It won't be, it won't be teased on the roots. It'll just be slip potted. So for now, this will be enough to keep it alive, keep it going. And if I can get some moss, if we get some rain, I'll be able to put a bit of moss on it. So it's still a half bucket of, um, Bonsai saw there, and there we go, that's done. Now, what else do we need to do? We just need to trim this tree. You can see it's super healthy, growing really, really well. So let's just trim the tree. And we'll do it in the old Mallee style. A few different layers. Of foliage across this tree, this little tree, and hopefully, after the pruning, it'll look, you know, like a half decent little mallee tree at the start of its progression. You know, won't look, won't look anything finished, that's for sure. But hopefully, it'll resemble some sort of a mallee tree. Um, and it'll be a little, you know, be on its way to becoming one itself. So basically what we're doing is we're just grabbing clumps of foliage. Generally in the same line. So you would choose three or four lines throughout your tree. And those three or four lines throughout your tree is where you want the foliage to stop. So one line down here. And then you want another line here where the foliage stops, including this back bit here and some back here. And then we want to create another line where stuff stops. Okay, and I'll just trim, trim across. I'll just grab a clump in my hand, trim across like a pom pom. And that becomes another layer in the tree. So if you have a look at a tree in the wild, an Australian native gum, and some Malalucas, you'll see they have all these different layers to the tree. So a layer, a layer, another layer. The more you can clean up these layers, the more realistic it looks. But when I say that, don't go overly cleaning this up when a tree like this one is a little bit too immature for a final look at the, or for a final design. This tree is a little bit immature, so what we're doing is we're just doing a rough little cut and we're not cleaning up all the individual little leaves around the place. We're just getting a very rough outline 
because there's still a lot of growing this tree needs to do. So you grab a clump like this and you run at another level of foliage and what you do is in here you can cut the whole thing across but we've actually got two thicker ones in here. So what I'll do is I'll cut it all the way across and I'll leave the two slightly thicker ones okay in the middle and what that would do is then the two slightly thicker ones will be allowed to grow up okay into the next canopy layer so if you can see that these two here are now being allowed to grow up into this next canopy layer so the next canopy layer of so will be here okay and these two that we left will now be chopped up here. So this little branch here has its main foliage here with two coming up here. And the definition between them is not substantial at the moment because we haven't cleared out all the leaves in between each layer because it's still a very, very young tree in its design. But when the tree becomes more and more established in this design, then we can start to clear out more and more um, of the leaves and foliage and stuff that are mid layer. So instead of being a nice clean layer that you can get, it's a bit messy, but in future we'll have that clean layer and then strip all the little leaves off between those layers. So let's keep going. Here's a little bit here we can trim off at a different level here. So basically everything here at this level will trim off that's thin and the thicker branches at this level will keep and will keep anything over maybe one millimeter in thickness can be left alone to grow up into the next canopy up here. So let's do that next canopy. Let's chop it all off at the top. I hope, I hope it comes through on the camera what I'm trying to accomplish here. It's very hard to, um, I guess, explain and to show when something's in a juvenile form, but eventually all these different layers will start to make sense when the leaves in between the layers get cleared out. So, basically we're just gonna come along and clean things away. Gonna come along the back here and do some more cleaning. Literally just clump it together, a bit like a bowl cut when you have a haircut, you know, back in the day they used to put a bowl over your head and anything outside that bowl was cut, anything inside the bowl they left. Well this is a similar, similar thing, except you make that bowl and anything over, so if you can see here, anything over a millimetre gets left go to the next level and then I can chop it off higher. So what we have basically is a clump at the bottom here and then a thicker lot which goes to a different clump. And that, although it looks funny now, will actually look pretty cool in the future of this tree. And these Malalukas, like you can see from how it smashed the pot, are extremely, extremely fast growing. And hopefully, won't be too many years and this here will be a decent tree. It's probably now three, only maximum three years from a tube stock. So a little seedling. Be maximum three years. And it's pretty cool how much it has actually grown into a tree already.
chopping away some excess here, just helping create some more layers. All the little ones, all the skinny skinnies are getting cut at a lower point and the thick ones are being left to grow up nice and strong to create the next canopy layer. And if you accidentally chop a few of the branches that are meant to go to the next canopy layer, it's not a big problem because these Australian natives or whatever you choose to grow in their style seem to really grow quite fast up into the next canopy layer. So if I accidentally chop one of these back this time, next time there'll be one up nice and high, a bit like this one here and no worries at all. So if you chop one off accidentally, don't stress about it. Just worry about it next time. So here we grab another clump. And if there's any really fat ones, there's only really one. We'll leave that one. Chop everything else around it. And then this next one can get cut at a different height. Okay, so that's the height of the top of the tree. These can get chopped at the height of the top of the tree because they made it there. Well done guys for making it to the top of the tree. Um, and yeah, Australian native bonsai is quite a tall, um, I guess elegant looking tree and quite narrow also. You don't have to have big, thick branches at the top. They have quite slender branches at the top and they have a decently skinny trunk for the height of the tree. So yeah, a bit like me, they have a nice skinny trunk. Okay, so it's probably about all we have to do for now. Had a rough trim, bit of a clean up, and it really is starting to become a Mali style bonsai. In time, that layer, that layer, top layer up here, will start to separate more. Okay. We can separate it a bit more with just trimming and some of the leaves underneath will die off as well which creates better pads and we'll get a more and more defined little tree a little uh malaluca style or mali style tree coming out of it so pretty cool so there you go it's been repotted it's had a bit of a trim not 100%, but do remember that we're still trying to grow this tree. We're not trying to get a final product right now. We're just still trying to grow it. Okay, cheers guys. Let's have a bit of a look. Okay, looking pretty good. Right, I'll put it on a turntable. We'll give you a spin. See what we're looking at here. So this tree's had a bit of a repot, a good, very good trim. It's actually a super, super healthy tree at the moment. Growing really vigorous. So I'm just gonna take it outside, give it a bit of water, and hopefully she just keeps on, keeps on rocking on. So I'll give you a bit of a spin. So this tree should end up looking pretty cool in the, in the long run. Might not look like much to you now, but I hope that you have the vision to see it in the future because in the future it's going to really look like a cool tree, like a proper, proper tree. And I'm super excited about this one. This one here seems to be behaving and it's looking good.
What do you reckon, Seth? Looks good. Looks good. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, Aussie Fun's Old Blunt. How sound? dare you! Did you hear something? You, you feed yourself. No, nah, it wasn't a poo. It sounded like one. So there you go. You have to keep that on YouTube. Nah, I'd delete that. No, <laughs> yeah. There's no way I'll put that on YouTube. Buy a wood in the comments. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. We ain't keeping that. I'll say in the comments. That's what editing's about. We can get rid of that. No. You feed yourself. I didn't poo. Oh, you did. I sharted. Same thing. <laughs> okay. Cheers for watching, Ozzy Bonzo Bloke. Please uh, like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. But it all helps. And yeah, this is a super, super healthy tree. So strong. Australian Melaleuca. So strong it can break the pot. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. And let's hope it can survive at least a year in this pot. Cheers.